what is going on? It's Trainer Tia. What's up, COVID people? Uh, so, okay, I'm coming at you from the park. I've got different glasses on, and I've got my warm colors on, as you can see. Uh, I got my red sports bra. I don't know if you can see that, and I've got my shoes red and yellow. Made those myself, in case you're wondering. I know you were. Okay, so uh, today and tomorrow are all about AMRAP. You've probably seen that acronym before if you've been in fitness. Uh, if not, it stands for, in this case, as many rounds as possible. I'm sorry, as many reps as possible. Okay, you can do AMRAP with as many rounds, but we're going to do as many reps as possible. Okay, as many reps as possible in three sets of 12 minute intervals. Okay, so the total working time here is 36 minutes. Okay, but take a couple of minutes in between each round and take a couple of warm up sets on each exercise before you begin the first round. Okay, your goal, you have to count your reps. Okay, so find a way to do that either mentally or write it down real quick and when you're transitioning in between exercises. Uh, but you have to count your reps and your goal is to get further, get more in each successive round. So if you get 100 reps in round one, take your rest, try for 110 or more in the second round, and then try for 120 or more. And those are just examples, right? That you don't have to follow those numbers whatsoever. But you're trying to increase and get better in round two and round three, okay? Um, what else do I want to tell you? Um, if you need modifications, make, make sure to read each one of the um, each one of the exercises. I'm going to give modifications and levels and all that jazz as usual. If you have any questions, ask it on the Facebook group or message me. Here we go with your demos. Okay, so first handstand push ups. You should be able to do these exactly like it shows in the video. Okay, of course, many of you won't be able to kick up onto the wall and do handstands. If you can do that, go ahead and do it. If you can't, don't be afraid of this move. Okay, I have 60 year olds in the gym doing this move. Okay, you just need to modify it by putting either your hands higher than your feet to make it easier or your feet higher than your hands to make it harder to load more weight into your shoulders. Okay, so handstand push-ups. Almost everybody should be able to do these on the floor. Okay, and you're just gonna make a pike, all right? So it looks like this. So you're just making a pike. All right, wide feet, push up and down like so, okay? And you can modify your pike push-ups or your handstand push-ups that way. You'll hear me call these pike push-ups every now and then, okay? But everybody should be able to do that on the ground, okay? If you need a little bit easier level, like I said, prop your hands up on something very, very small, very short off the ground, okay? But definitely give those a try. Try to not modify if you don't need to. Okay, next, standing liberties. Okay, grab something around the, around the house that's ideally around 10 pounds, okay? So either approximate or use your scale. If you have a dumbbell, great. If you don't, maybe load up a little shopping bag, um, gallon of water, detergent. Um, uh, what's that thing called? Um, can of detergent. That's not the right right word, but you get what I'm saying. A little thing of detergent. And standing liberties, you're going to do exactly as they're prescribed in the video. You're going to come down. I've got my thing in this hand. Come down, touch, up, load it, jump, and back down. Okay. Standing liberties should be able to be done exactly as prescribed, all right? Now, here's the killer is number three is surrenders, okay? If you've worked with me before, you know surrenders, okay? And the name does not mess around. It tells it all, okay? If you need to modify surrenders because of knees, go up surrenders as shown in the video, okay? But most people should be able to do down surrenders, okay? And you, again, want to hold something over your head, ideally about 10 pounds in each hand, okay? So... Again, dumbbells are great. Otherwise, maybe load up some purses or some bags. Those sit really nicely um, in this position. But 10 pounds in each hand is the standard more if you can. The video on surrender shows everything you need to know. You got your weights here. You're going to go down, down, up. That's one. Okay. Down, down, up, two. Okay. Surrenders are really tough, okay? And if the weights drop below the crown of your head, you better stop counting, okay? Do not count those reps. Hold yourself accountable because you know that I would if you were in person with me, okay? Next, plank ladders. Just do these as shown in the video, similar to how you set up your other ladders. Get yourself 12 rungs, okay? And instead of going through with your feet, you're going to begin in a plank position going through on the ladders that way. If that's too much for your shoulders, try to just hold a plank for 60 seconds and that'll work, okay? Finally, push-ups. Okay, now these are clock push-ups. Okay, I know the app just says push-up progressions, but these are meant to be clock push-ups. Okay, 
If you can't do at least 12 push-ups on the floor, do all 12 push-ups either in a stationary position or up on an incline, all right, as we've prescribed before. If you can do push-ups, so you're going to imagine a clock, right, uh, an analog clock, a circle, and you've got an hour each, you know, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. You're going to start at 12 o'clock and you're going to rotate to 1, 2, 3, all the way around the clock, okay? And you're going to keep going in that circular fashion until you want to take a break on push-ups, okay? But just keep going in that circular fashion. It looks like this. Make sure you can see me, all right? Yeah. Okay. Rotating around the clock. Man, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Gosh, I just cracked myself up. Okay. That's enough. AMRAP, warm colors. Go for it. Work hard. Keep me posted on your progress.